Are you looking for ways to make all these virtual meetings a little more interactive and a little more fun? Well, today I'm going to share five fresh ideas to inject a little bit of laughter into your next virtual meeting. Hi, I'm Chris Littlefield. I'm the founder of Beyond Thank You and the author of the book, 75 Team Building Activities for Remote Teams, Simple Ways to Build Trust, Strengthen Communication and Laugh Together from Afar. After a year of working remotely in the midst of a global pandemic, it can sometimes be hard to remember that it's still okay to experience joy. And many times the very thing we need to counter all the uncertainty and stress that we're facing is a little bit of laughter. In my book, I share what I call the one six rule that for every hour of virtual meeting, one six of it or 10 minutes should be devoted just to relationship building. If it's a two hour meeting, 20 minutes, if it's a three hour meeting, that's inhumane. Nobody should have a three hour virtual meeting. But sometimes when you use that time to check in on people's well being, and if you're looking for ideas of how to do that, check out my book or check out some of the other videos on this channel. And if you like them, please subscribe. But other times we want to use that time to just laugh and play. But after a year of virtual meetings, it's sometimes hard to come up with new ideas. So today I'm pulling together five things that I'm guaranteeing at least two to three of them you've never seen before. And I guarantee one of them you haven't because I just created this game last week. Let's check them out. The first game I want to teach you is called Giants, Wizards, Elves. Now, this is a game I used to love playing outside, but you can also play this virtually. You teach everybody the three moves. You have giants, uh, wizards, with your finger pointed towards the camera going shazam, and elves. Nee, 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 nee. Okay, so teach everybody the moves and remind them it's just like rock, paper, scissors, where giants beat wizards, wizard beat elves, elves beat giants. Okay, so once everybody knows the rules and the motions and gets some laughs going already just by doing the motions, then pick two people to play each other. You point to two people and say, one, two, three, go, and have them either be a giant, wizard, or elf. Whoever wins keeps their camera on, and whoever loses turns their camera off. And then pick another two people to play until you get down to the final two people and have them play the best of three. Now, another version of this, if you want to play with an even larger group, is just have one person, you the facilitator, just go giant, wizards, and elves, and if anybody loses to you, they turn their camera off. And if they beat you, they stay in and see if they make it to the final round. But this is a simple way to be able to break up your meeting, get people moving around and get them laughing. Things are guaranteed to get more laughs than watching one of your senior managers mouthing out the lyrics to Madonna's Like a Prayer or Total Eclipse of the Heart at your next staff meeting. And the fact that the music and video never line up perfect make it extra awkward, but also extra fun. So use one of your next staff meetings or virtual happy hours to organize a lip sync battle or battle of the virtual bands. Simply let people know ahead of time that you'll be having a competition and anybody that wants to compete should bring their song, their props, and anything else they need to steal the show. Limit their time to 20 to 30 seconds for their sake and for yours and let them know what criteria we'll be judging on. And after everybody goes, have people score them and make sure you award the prize to somebody who wins for putting themselves out there and for risking all that embarrassment. Now, if you want to get more people involved, involved and organize a virtual battle of the bands, have whole departments, bring teams in and do a song where everybody's on playing a different member of the band. It's guaranteed to bring some laughs and also bring some variety and fun to one of your meetings. The next thing I want to introduce you to is Zoom Tac Toe, where you turn your virtual meeting into a giant human sized tic tac toe game. In order to play, you need to have at least nine people. And if you have more than nine people, it's no problem. Just ask everybody else to turn their cameras off so you only have nine people on the screen. Next, have everybody shift into gallery mode so they see three people by three people by three people or your virtual tic tac toe board. Next, Pick two people who are going to play each other, one person to be X, another person to be O, where they instruct the people up on the screen to either make an X or an O until they get a line across or a diagonal. Now here's the part that makes it extra fun is nobody sees the same people on their screen. So once they've got a line across, they need to take a photo of it and then share it up to the camera to prove that they won. Now after one person goes, ask another two people to play, play a few rounds, but this is a great simple way to get people moving and take a break from your conversations to have a little laugh.
love the classic board game Boggle where you used a random selection of letters to create as many words as possible, then you're going to love the game Boggle or Virtual Boggle. Here's how to play. You're going to pick 8 to 12 people in your group to write down a random letter onto a sheet of paper. Then, on the count of three, have everybody hold the papers up to the screen and then give people, everyone on the call, 10 to 15 seconds to write down all the letters. Next, instruct them that they're going to have one to two minutes to create as many words as possible. The only rule is that they can only use each letter once and they only get points for words that are three letters or longer. You may want to give additional bonus points for the most number of words, the longest words, or words related to your work or the pandemic. It's a simple way to get people thinking, laughing, and to break up your meeting. I want to teach today, which is my new favorite game and a game I invented just a couple weeks ago, which is called Who is Bob? Now, in this funny game of virtual hide and seek, you as a facilitator will privately chat one person in the group and say, you are Bob. Next, you're going to teach everybody the song that goes along the game, which is Bob, 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 Bob who is Bob. Who is Bob? Yeah. And you start the game by having everybody together go, Bob, Bob, who is Bob? And then whoever the first person to guess is going to pick a name and go, Chris, Chris, are you Bob? And if I'm not Bob, I'm going to go, Bob, Bob, I'm not Bob. And then pick another person and say their name twice and ask them, are they Bob? And you're going to keep on going until whoever is Bob says, Bob, Bob, I am Bob. And then you're going to privately chat somebody else until and play a couple rounds of the game. It's guaranteed to get a couple laughs. And here is a video of me playing this game with a group just last week. Bob, Bob, who is Bob? Is Bob. Amanda, Amanda, are you Bob? Bob, Bob, I am Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Amanda, I want you to go and do you know how to privately chat somebody in Zoom? Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead and pick somebody to be Bob. And Amanda, you will go first next time. Bob, Bob, <laughs> who is yes, Bob? Bob? Julia P, Julia P, are you Bob? Uh, what I said, Bob, Bob, I'm not Bob. Um, Chris. Chris, are you Bob? Bob, Bob, I'm not Bob. Nikki, Nikki, are you Bob? Bob, Bob, I am Bob. <laughs> Bob, Bob, are you Bob? I hope you enjoyed this video and you're going to try one of these games and activities in your next virtual meeting or event. And if you're looking for more ideas, please subscribe to this channel and also check out my book, 75 Team Building Activities for Remote Teams, Simple Ways to Build Trust, Strength and Communication and Laugh Together from Afar. You'll find it on Amazon. And if you're looking for trainings to help your leaders be better at building and maintaining their relationships remotely, please check out my programs at beyondthankyou.com. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. Take care.